Hey kid, it's dad. Today's question is, what's your what? What what do you guys go to and why do you go there? I'll strap in, we're going to show it to you. Cue the music. <laughs> so our what is Wat Rai King. It's not the closest Wat to us, but it's our favorite one to go to. Now, Wat Rai King is an old Wat. It was built in 1791. Things looked a lot different then, and that specifically has to do with how the Wat got its name. You might have heard the word Rai before. Rai is a unit of measurement, but Rai also means farm or plantation. And King is the Thai word for ginger. So you guessed it. There used to be a ginger plantation there. So it is Wat on the ginger plantation, which I think is kind of cool. King is also a really common Thai nickname. And I'll put a link up there to some nicknames for you. Now, Wat Rai King is probably the second most famous Wat here in Nakhon Patom. The first being Wat Pra Patom Chidi at in Muang Nakhon Patom. That's the one that's on all the postcards. It has the largest stupa or Chidi here in Thailand. But second to that is right next door to Salia in Tambon Rai King. And it is the Wat of choice for a great many people, both close by and not so close by. So we went to Temple recently because I just had a birthday and it is traditional to go to the Wat on your birthday. So today we're gonna take you with us and show you what that trip looked like and what it looks like to go to Temple just as a regular Buddhist family. So the first thing that we do is we stop and we pick up some fishes. We also got a turtle, as you can see. You can also get birds. Now the reason that we're doing this and stopping and talking to this nice lady is this is one of the rituals of going to temple. There's a couple different ways to describe this part of the ritual. You can say hai chuit pla, you're giving life to the fish. Hai is give and chuit is life. So hai chuit pla, hai chuit dao, giving life to the animals. The other way to describe it is ploy, blah. Ploy is to release. It also means loose, it also means gemstone, but here it means release. Sometimes I remember new words in Thai because something happened that makes me remember it. That's what happened with this one. There's a guy walking around the temple saying ploy, blah, ploy, blah, ploy, blah, and I thought he was saying my name. I thought he was saying sai pa, sai pa, sai pa. No, he's got a little stand where he was selling fishes. So the different species of fish, different animals, all symbolize different virtues, different aspects of life, things like strength, wealth, prosperity, long life. And as it often is with Buddhism, you're letting go of the things that you want to have in your life. So that's what's symbolized by releasing the fish, releasing the turtles. So when we first got there, we traveled across this bridge here, and that's because the lady who sold us the fishes this time and the turtle, she told us about this nice little secluded spot to let them go here across from the Wat proper. So this river that we're going over is the River Chin. Manam is river, so Manam Chin. But everybody calls it uh, Manam Nakhon Chai Si. I'm not sure why. I mean, Nakhon Chai Si is actually the name of this road that I'm on too. So the reason that the lady wanted us to go here is it's really sheltered. There are some nice water plants here that you can see. It's good spots for the little fishes and, and the turtles to hide. So you want to get far away from the other thing that Wat Rai King is famous for, and that's a big fish sanctuary. And we're going to go there next. And you see I was a little overzealous with my poor turtle going in the water. He was a little stunned, but he woke up all right. Now you can also see that Joy has this comically large bag of multicolored styrofoam looking things here. So this is another ritual of going to the Wat, and that is feeding the fishes. So this, this giant bag is full of fish food that has a funny name in Thai, and that is a Han Ki Mao. Ki is the Thai word for poop, and Mao is cat, so it's like cat poop food, but that's what it is. So these are iridescent shark catfish, and I'm not sure, they have this whole area blocked off here, and I'm not sure if they live here until they die or if they sell them for food. People do eat them when they're a fillet. They're called uh, sawai, but I can't, I can't remember a time that I've ever had them. So this is part of the Wat experience. 
you might have noticed a theme here. It's a theme of giving. You are giving food, you are giving life, and it meshes very well with the whole idea of Buddhism, right? So after our time feeding the fishes, we're going to go over and get our offerings. We're going to get our offerings before going to see the Buddha image. Now things are a little different right now because of the lockdown. Lockdown's pretty much to ease back, but things are not quite the same. Now, speaking of the lockdown, we have been able to go to Temple as much as we'd like. It's actually been a while since we've been to Wat Rai King because we just didn't want to be around a whole lot of people considering everything that was going on. Now, this things look actually really different here right now. There used to be this really big food court, and all that food court has been under construction for a while. It used to be part of our, our little going to the Wat ritual. So this is the first time that we've been here since the construction is finished, and I thought that they were just doing some regular maintenance but oh my goodness have they put a lot of work into the grounds they have this gorgeous new building and this beautiful fountain it looks absolutely fantastic it always did look nice but wow it really is something else and really really is worth the trip so back to our offerings so your offering consists of some incense some flowers and some gold leaf so you get all these things in a bundle, and you'll see that there's a donation box. I think it's like 20 baht per bundle, and it's completely on the honor system. I have never seen anybody put in less than 20 baht. I've seen people put in more, but it's completely on trust. So you drop off your flowers at this little communal tray, and then normally you would light your incense, but uh, they weren't doing that now, and after that you, you light your candles and stand them up. Also wasn't happening right now. So then you move over to the statuary, and you see that they're covered in this gold leaf. Now, some of them are Buddha images and some of them are famous monks or other important uh, figures, and they all get that layer of gold leaf. And you'll see that everything that you have, everything that in that bundle, you have it and then it goes. Everything's very transient. Again, uh, fits in well with, with Buddhism. And after that, we're going to go in and we're going to see the Buddha image. Now this Buddha image is in Lana Thai style and was supposedly found in the river along with three other Buddha images. So he's got a little history and a little story behind him. And after we're done talking to the Buddha, we're going to go to our next part of our Wat experience. And that is uh, doing these little shuka shuka things here. I forget what they're called in Thai. I'll put it in the subtitles for you. So let us show you how to do it. So you take this little cylinder and it has a bunch of sticks inside of it. And each one of those sticks has a number on it. So if you shake it, shake it, shake it. And then as you're doing that, you're tipping it over. And the first stick that falls out, that is your number. So you remember that number in your head and you walk over to this big board. And this big board is going to have a fortune for you. So having all these different activities is one of the things that we like the most about coming to Wat Rai King. Not every temple is going to have animals for you to feed. Not every temple is going to have a place to release animals. And Wat Rai King has all of these. My favorite temple in Bangkok near Prakanong was my favorite specifically because it had all these different things. I can't remember the name of it. It's been many years. I'll see if I can dig up a picture, but that's why that was uh, my favorite place to go there. And right down the road from Wat Rai King is this fantastic restaurant that has some of the best bla bao that I have ever had here in Thailand. And it's a nice little treat for us every once in a while after we finish going to the Wat. So if you want to see Wat Rai King, now is a really great time to come. The remodel looks great. There's lots of other stuff that we didn't get to in this video. There's lots of really cool statuary. All the different animals represent different aspects of life in Thai culture. And um, some are just there because they look cool because I don't, I've never seen any zebras here in Thailand. There's also gongs that have their own rituals surrounding them that we didn't get to today. But maybe we'll We'll talk about it another time. So that's our what and why we go there. If there's a place here in Saliyar, the surrounds, that you'd like us to check out, we enjoy traveling and finding new things, drop a comment for us and we'll see if it's a place that we can go. As for you, kid, that's going to do it for this video. Until the next one, we'll see you later. Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Why are you going in front of me like this? Oi!